Hello guys, it's Eriki and welcome back to another FIFA 18 Youth Academy career mode video with Levante and it is episode number 3 and today, we pro uh, today we're gonna play one game and we're not gonna play against Girona, we're gonna play against uh, against Sevilla and uh, in, in the last episode I told you guys that I want to sign a new player but I signed a new player so that player is Ruiz from Levante, he's a striker but I just thought that he's a good, he's a, he's, he's a pretty good player and he probably has a good potential, I don't know but he, I signed him from Barcelona, so you know, so Ruiz is, is he looks pretty good, and he's 18 years old, so that's pretty nice. And uh, uh, and we have brought, we have a lot of strikers now in, in our squad. We, uh, I believe, we have seven or six strikers. But I, I will uh, sell a lot. Of, sell, I will sell a lot of, a lot of, of them. So Armando Sadiku, he he will leave. Uh, then we have Boateng, he will stay, and we also have Roger, so we will keep these two strikers, but Vamena, I think I will keep Vamena, Moiral, Moiral will leave this club after this season, so I will probably gonna sell Roger, so we only gonna have uh, three strikers, or four, so that's pretty nice, because we need strikers, because uh, having those players on the bench is always a very useful, th a very useful thing, so you know, so now I'm gonna sim this game against Girona, and... Uh, I hopefully we can win this game because we're playing at home and I'm using my first team and we got a draw so that's not looking good because we can't win we can't win these games at home so and it's not it, that is just not something that I want to see but now we're trading our players once again Manuel is already 68 rated so we have Moreno we have Lucero who's a pretty good goalkeeper release clause paid for Yasan uh, I'm I don't want to let him go because he's our he's our main guy. And he's in our starting lineup, and plus we can't sign any more players, so I must keep him. I will offer him a new contract. Uh, so th there we go. We have Yasan. I'm gonna del delegate renewal, and uh, and they're saying that I you ha that I have recently negotiated a new contract with this player. So that means that we can't. Uh, we so that probably means that he's leaving our club, and uh, so this is our first. Uh, I should say terrible thing because. I don't want to lose this guy because he's a very good, very good player, and uh, and it's it's terrible because we're gonna lose this player, and I don't know what we're gonna do from this point on because uh, he's our main, he's our, our he's our main uh, right midfielder, and losing him is is just terrible thing, you know. But uh, I will try my best to keep him, but as you guys can see, I can't do anything, so I can't do anything, so I don't know. How, he's probably gonna leave this club. And he will move to Bundesliga, but and I saw a transfer offer for uh, for one of our players, so I believe it was a striker. And yes, we have an offer for Barty. He will not go anywhere, even though he has a release clause. Uh, Postigo will not go anywhere, and Sadiku uh, Sadiku can leave. Sadiku can leave because he's just not good enough. And Manuel, I will reject this offer because he's our main talent in this squad. And and we have one more offer for. Postigo, I'm gonna reject this offer as well, so... <laughs> and, uh, now, I'm waiting for another scout report because I want to... I want to see if we can find a good talent, or if we have a good talent in that squad, in that squad report, it would be very good. But Yasod has been sold, so we got 12 million into, into our transfer budget, and that's terrible because... Now we don't have a pretty, uh, a proper uh, right midfielder, so it's terrible, but... Maybe I should change the formation. I don't know. If he will, can he play? Yes, he can play as a right midfielder. So okay, so this he will play that starting lineup. But then in our second team, we we'll, uh, we don't have a left midfielder, so that's pretty terrible. But I think I I I, I think that we have a one one left midfielder in our youth academy. Yes, Ismael Barrios. He's 57 overall and 75 rated. Uh, not 75. 70. His potential is from 75 to 93. I think I'm gonna sign this guy. Or I should say I will promote him, and he accepted the offer, and uh, and now he will play in our second team because we don't have a left midfielder. So this is my first team, and uh, I want to go to my uh, second team. And uh, Barrios will play as a left midfielder, and uh, he has five star skills. Oh my god, that's that's insane! And he is left footed. He can also play as a right winger. So I think he's left footed. So I think. Uh, Using him on the right side would be a best the best thing to do. And this guy Garcia, he can only play as a right midfielder, so that's not, not something that, that is very good. But 
Garcia is right footed, yes. So I will use him as a left midfielder. I think that's not a problem. But Barrios, I will put Barrios a little bit uh, somewhere like so, uh, somewhere here because he he will he can uh, he will have a chance to play as a right winger and plus he has five star skills and he can cut on his left foot and he can score a lot of finesse shots uh, or a lot of goals. Uh, so I think that's a pretty nice move for us. Uh, we just found a very good talent and now we ca I know that he's only 57 rated but I think he will do a pretty good job and now we got another another offer for this guy I'm gonna accept all these offers but hopefully he can he will sell but now we have monthly scout scouting update and this guy is a very good player hey take a look at his value it is just insane and his overall is pretty good and I'm gonna sign this guy he's only 15 years old and this guy Carlos uh, Patera uh, he's not good enough this guy is not good enough as well, so I'm just gonna reject all these players that are not good enough. And this guy looks great. This guy looks great, and his value is pr pretty good. Not not the not, not the most impressive, you know, because that uh, that previous guy had the best had the be best value. He had the better value, but I think that this guy is pretty good as well. This guy is not good enough, and this one is not good enough. So we found two good talents uh, from uh, from this scout report, and I think that they can be they can be very good players. And this guy is Claudio Ribeiro from Portugal. He's 57 rated and he's pre he has pretty good potential. And this guy is 60 rated and uh, he has a pretty good potential. And I I, I will sign him as uh, as soon as he turns 16 because we have R Ribeiro that is playing uh, as a right winger uh, right now. But if we will sign him, I will use Ribeiro as a left midfielder and I will use this guy as a right winger. But it he and he's right footed, so I will use him on the left side and Ribeiro will play. Uh, and not Ribeiro and that guy uh, Ismail Barrios will play on our, on the right side and this guy will play as the left winger so that's pretty nice we found a very good talent so now we just gotta we just gotta wait and I'm gonna send this game against Atletico I will only play against Sevilla in this episode because I want to tr I want to play in their stadium and uh, we got a one more draw that's that is that is just pretty that is very impressive that we got a draw against this team and Isidoro Isidoro Lucero he's he is growing that's very nice to see Moreno is still He's still 61 rated, and but that's pretty good. And Manuel is still a 68, so but he grew a lot this season, so we can't expect we can't expect a huge growth from him. You know, he can't grow by plus 10. You know, in season. So and uh, Sadiku has been sold, so we sold one striker. Well, I should say we sold one of our strikers, and we so now we have I believe five strikers. Mar Mineral will leave, so that's pretty nice. And uh, Spal. From Italy, they are trying to loan him. Uh, they are trying to loan our best player, Enis Barri, but he's not going anywhere. And Evi, he's not going anywhere because he's our main strike. He's on. He's our main mid uh, winger in this team in our in our starting lineup. So we, he's not going anywhere in this game against Real Valladolid. We're probably gonna, going to play again. We're playing. Uh, we're probably playing against. Uh, no, no. I want to say that we are playing at home against Real Valladolid and. Uh, so he's and our player Tono Garcia is running out of contract, so I need to offer him a new contract. I don't know. I believe he's a left. He's a left back in our squad, but who's that Tono Garcia? I want to. I want to say. I believe that Tono Garcia is left midfielder. If I not, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, where is this guy? He is the left midfielder, I believe. Uh, where is this guy? Uh, I can't find him. Barry's Campano party. Garcia, yes. There we go. He's right midfielder, so his form is bad. I I don't know if I should if I should give him a new contract. Oh, I just realized that they are signing him for uh they they want to make a pre-contract signing, so that's pretty good. He can leave because I don't I don't I will not I don't need him in the next in the next season because he's just not good enough. And plus we have a lot of wingers that are coming from our youth academy, so it just doesn't make sense to keep him in our club. And we got another 1-1 one, one draw, so we are just getting these draws, and we just can't win these games against. We I, I believe we drew against Girona, we drew against uh, Real Valladolid, and we also drew against uh, Atletico Madrid. So we are not looking good, but at least we are getting these draws. We're not losing, so that's pretty impressive. And uh, now we should play against Sevilla. Yes, after uh, this is this is a very sh this should be a very match, a very good match, and I'm gonna reject this offer. Uh, and Garcia is leaving, so that that is that is okay. I'm I'm not. Uh, that's not something. That's not a huge loss for us. And in this game, I'm probably gonna use my first team. <laughs> and also, I'm I'm uh, I'm a little bit sick, so uh, I my sound my voice sounds pretty bad, but hopefully that's okay for you guys. And we have Postigo. Uh, this guy Rodriguez is he's younger. 
And I think I'm gonna use Rodriguez in this game. I don't know why I'm using why I'm using Postigo even though he's a little bit old. But now we uh, using a, a younger player, so I think that's that's something that I should do. Then we also have uh, I will use Postigo in my in my second team, and that's pretty good. So now we are getting ready for this game against Sevilla. I will use this team. We have a lot of good players like Botting. We have Simon. We have Bari. We have Amin Harit. And our and our defense is pretty good, so I think that we have a chance to play to win against uh, to win this game against Sevilla. So I will try my best. So let's just hop into this game, and I will see you guys in this game after just a few seconds. So we're playing away from home against Sevilla, and it is this is our new stadium, and I'm ver and that's that looks very nice. The stadium, Ramon Sanchez Pijuan Stadium, and now we're gonna play this game against against Sevilla and. Uh, it should be a, a quite a, an interesting video, not a not a quite interesting video. What the hell am I saying? It should be a quite interesting game for uh, because this team is pretty good. But I think the reason why I'm playing against Sevilla and not not against Atletico Madrid because I think that uh, uh, playing against Sevilla is a little bit easier and plus this team is also a very good side. So I think we have a better chance of winning. But and this I think this sh this is going to be a very tough game for us. But I think we at least we do have a chance. To win this game, and that's the most important thing. And now we are moving with Amin Harit. He passes to Ivy. Ivy stops, and it was a great clearance from one of their defenders. And uh, Ivy tr is trying to get to that ball, but he couldn't. So I'm expecting. I'm expecting at least. I need at least a, a draw because I don't want to lose. And Sevilla is in the first place. So so I did. I I didn't even know, you know, be, and that that we are playing against the first. Place team, but now this game is even more impressive and more more and even more exciting because we're playing against the first team in in La Liga. Even and Atletico is not even in the top four, so I think uh, it's just a very good coincidence that I'm playing against Sevilla because they're as I said as 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 I said before, this team is is in the first place in, in La Liga Santander, so that is pretty nice. And if we can win this game, it would be very massive for us. Because winning against the first team, uh, winning against the first place team, it, it is just a very impressive thing, you know. And hopefully, hopefully our team can can uh, step up big time. And it is going to probably to, going to be another corner, but yes, it is it is going to be another corner. So so we are playing a very good football so far, and a very great header from Simon. And uh, Vissam Ben Yedder scores. What a goal from him! And uh, oh no, it's Luis Morial. And yeah, it is terrible defending from me. Take a look at this. Take a look at this goal, and uh, it is just amazing that he scored this one. And our goalkeeper is terrible. And uh, I'm gonna go on attacking because it is it is just terrible. Uh, we're playing good, but we can't score any goals, you know. And boring is just running. What the hell is going on? And uh, it is a shot, and yes, it got deflected. So it is terrible. It is terrible. Football so far because we already conceded one goal and uh, they're just they're just attacking us so much right now and uh, I'm not going for the win right now because I, my goal is just to uh, uh, is to get at least a draw for out of this game so Simon is running but it just it just doesn't make sense as Rocky Messi is is getting to that ball because Simon is the, probably the fastest player is, uh, the fastest player in this uh, in, on the pitch and he just and Morocco Messi is a very slow player but he just somehow managed to get to that ball I don't even know how but and uh, now it is a great it is great interception, interception from, uh, from I believe I'm in Harit, but it's an, another terrible attack from our team. So Harit is running to the fast break, and this is probably our best player in the, on the in this game. Not in not not, not in, the, in this career mode, I should say. And what a great pass! What a great pass! And uh, it is it pro it was probably an offside, but but we got lucky. And now if he shoots, and it is going to be a corner. So that's pretty nice. And. Uh, Campana with the with a pass and uh, Kabako with a great shot, but uh, but the shot was terrible. So we are still losing. We are still down one 0 against Sevilla. Uh, my goal is to get at least that one goal and and at least get a draw out of this game because I don't want to lose. But I think it is going to be very tough, very tough to do something like this, and uh, because their finishing is very good and uh, they only had one shot I believe and they were already scored and this is probably their, their second or third shot. And uh, I can't say that they are very dangerous, but these ch chances that they have, that they're having right now, uh, are always dangerous because our team, our goalkeeper is not the best, you know, and uh, and plus our defense is not good enough to win against Sevilla, I believe. But I will try my best in this game, and now we we're 
uh, I mean hurried, hurried passes to Ivy, and it was a terrible pass, but now it was another terrible cross from one of our players, and we probably gonna, uh, we probably will not, we probably will not score uh, in the first half because we only have one minute, one minute left. So the ref added two minutes, and uh, Navas is a pretty fast player. Garcia is uh, is trying to get to that ball, but. And just kick that ball away, and it is a very dangerous shot from Sevilla, and it is going to be a probably it is probably going to be the last attack in the first half, and Sevilla might score the second one, but and oh my God, our goalkeeper is, is doing a pretty good job. I can't say that he's bad because even though he conceded that one goal, but that shot was very good and very accurate shot. So we're losing one 0 to Sevilla, but I think in the second half we might ha we might score because we're not playing terrible football. So. I will see you guys in that second half after just a few seconds. So Sevilla has another corner and uh, they're just very, they're attacking us so much right now and our goalkeeper should do, should do a pretty good job and he did. So let's run to the fast break and we have Rodriguez right now. Then we have Amin Harit. He's trying to find our player and the body with the ball. He stops, he passes to, Teton, to Garcia. Garcia finds Evi and Evi will try his best to make his, this truth pass and cock a shoot and he scores but... It was it was an offside, so and they have Shinji Kagawa. It doesn't make sense, and he joined them from Dor Borussia Dortmund in this summer, and uh, in this game I should say, not in the summer. And uh, and S Boateng should get to that ball because he's faster, and he got to that ball, but he got but he lost that ball, and Boateng will pass, and yeah, it was a terrible cross once again. I don't know how we're gonna score this goal because our team is just not good enough to score these goals I want. So we probably I'm gonna give a chance to those youth academy players. And uh, our next game next game is against Heta Getafe at home. So I don't know I'm not expecting a win because we just can't win lately. And Mats Hummels just joined Liverpool, so it it doesn't make sense. And and it was an offside, so that's pretty good. So now we also we so, uh, we have I believe. Uh, 35 minutes to go because I think that uh, the, the ref will give us four or three minutes uh, of additional of additional time. So I think that we we still have a chance to score this one goal. But Sevilla is just attacking us so much that I'm not expecting a win against this team. Se Levant Sevilla has a corner, and uh, we played a very good second half. We had some chances to score, and uh, but we just can't we we just couldn't. And now we're probably gonna lose because we only have a few minutes to go in this game. So yeah. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. We're probably gonna lose, but that's I think that's okay because we are playing against the first team, place team, you know. And I I'm happy with our performance in this game because we had a pretty good match. We had our chances. And Rev just blew the whistle, even though we had a ball. Uh, it is it was a terrible performance by Sevilla. They only scored one goal, and I don't know how they managed to win this game. But so now Osero just ha he has just reached 66 overalls. Yeah, I should say rating and Moreno also grew to 62 overall, so that's pretty nice. And uh, even though we lost this game against uh, Sevilla, that's not a, a bad problem for us because, or I should say that's not a, that's not a problem because we're still in that 12th position. We we probably will not get relegated, and this is the end of the transfer window. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna simulate until the end, you know, until the end of this month, and uh, I will I will try to. To get to that game against Getafe, and uh, because I want to sim uh, at least two more months in this in this episode, so we have a youth scout monthly report. So this guy looks great. Uh, this guy Bento Negrao is not looking good anymore because he's a over his potential was very good, but now he's not looking good. But I'm gonna keep him for now. Uh, this guy Danilo Oliveira. Uh, He's a pretty good one. He's a pretty good one. I might, I will sign him because he is a striker. He's he's 61 rated and he's he has a pretty good potential. Or I, or maybe I, I will keep him for now because I want to see if he's getting um, an update in his potential. So this guy is not good enough and this one is good. This guy, oh my God, his value is very good and he's an attacking player. So that's pretty impressive and uh, this guy is terrible. So. And yeah, this one is terrible as well. So we signed, we found one good player in this in this month in this scout scout monthly report. And I will take a look at this guy. This is what that guy is, I believe, Marias Blango. Yes, he's a cam. So we have two cam 
to instead of attacking midfielders, but this guy is taller, and uh, they're both the footed players, but I think, but this player is, is older, and he's 61 overall, he's, he has 80, 61 rating, and he's, he has a pretty good potential, so I will probably gonna sign him in the future, but now I want to keep these players in, in, our, in our youth academy, and uh, now we have uh, 40 million in our transfer budget, so we, uh, we will spend this, um, this amount of money in the next season on those youth academy players. And uh, if we're not gonna win this game against uh, Hatafe, they lost their three games. They lost three games, and it would be terrible. And we lost the game. Oh my god! I don't know what is gonna what is going on with this team. We our team is super good, and uh, we must be winning these games against these trash teams. But we just can't do anything. So I don't know where's the problem. Maybe our chemistry is not, is not good enough. I don't know. I don't know where's the problem, but. Uh, now we are still in that 30 position, and uh, Levante over uh, he is a pretty good. They, we have a pretty good squad, but Getafe won against us, uh, even though they played away from home. And now we are playing against Alves, and I'm always using my first team, and we are always getting these draws, or or we are always getting these uh, losses. So and we lost this game against Alves, so it just doesn't make sense. I I don't know how we're how we're managing to lose all these games. Uh, and but my in this first season my goal is to train our players and my goal is to find as many good players as possible and in the next episode not in the next episode in, in the next season we're gonna try our best to get uh, to maybe improve our chemistry and our playing style and we've had another great talent and take a look at his, at his value it is just an amazing player this guy is not good enough sorry uh, this guy is a pretty good one he's a goalkeeper I don't need goalkeepers, but I will sign him because he has a pretty good value. He's six foot five. Uh, he has a pretty good potential. Pretty, he is pretty good player. So I, we might sell him in the future for at least a few millions, you know. So that's pretty nice. This guy is not good enough, and this one is. Uh, I don't know. No, 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 no. This guy is not good enough because his is overall is not good enough. And now we have Claudio Ribeiro. Yes. So we also have Hugo Anibal. A pretty good goalkeeper, a pretty good goalkeeper. Then we have Telmo Rodriguez. This guy is a very good player, guys. He's 61 rated and he, he has a pretty good potential. So we have a lot of good players in our youth academy right now. Uh, and a lot of them are still 15 years old. So we might train them in the future. or we And we can't sign them right now because we can only sign them when they're, when they're 16 years old. So we, we still have to wait for them to grow, you know, and for them to, for them, for them to grow. So... Uh, we got a draw against Celta Vigo, it doesn't make sense because Celta Vigo is a pretty good squad, they have a pretty good squad and uh, we lost two games against Getafe and Alaves and I think Celta Vigo is a better is a better team than those two so it just doesn't make sense and these guys are Moreno and Lucero, they're growing so fast and we have a pretty good future I think in the, in the next season we're probably gonna have a, probably a full youth academy squad at least in our reserve, in our reserve squad so I think this team can do a lot of good things in the future, and the most important thing is not to get is not to get relegated in this season. And and I'm gonna use my first team as well against Real Madrid. We are playing at home. That's a, that's at least an advantage for us. And we lost against Real Madrid. Modric scored in the second minute, and now we're in that 16 position. And imagine if we drop to the second division in in, in La Liga or and. I think it wouldn't be that that bad because we could be winning that second division and we and we would have a chance to train our players even more and they would get a lot more playing time and it is not it, it would it wouldn't be a terrible thing but I still want to keep is to, to stay in La Liga because we would get a lot more money so you know and uh, I don't want to get fired so this is another good th uh, another thing that I should uh, keep in mind and Claudio Ribeiro uh, he's 15 years old. And that is amazing. That is amazing. Take, take a look at his potential. He's he, he's getting better and better every single day. And this guy is not good enough. I will probably gonna reject him, but I will keep him at least for now because I want to see his uh, his situation. So this guy Matias Blanco is a very good player. I think I'm gonna sign this guy because I think he's already 62 rated. So I think it would it is very nice. Uh, we have Telmo Rodriguez, but this guy is is going to be the best player in our squad because take a look at his potential and take a look at his rating so I'm waiting for him uh, I'm, I can't wait I, I'm waiting for this player to I can't wait for this guy to, to see his stats because he's probably going to be a very good player and this guy is just not good enough but I will keep him for now because I want to see the situation with him as well so maybe he's he's not that bad but 
and this guy is not good enough this guy's not good enough this guy uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna reject these players and I can't complain because now we uh, now we haven't had anyone good but but we had a lot of good players in our in our in, oh in our last uh, in our last few uh, scout reports so I can't complain you know I can't complain that we're not getting these players we we found a lot of good players and we got another draw so I'm not I don't I, I can't even remember when it was the last time when we won a game with this team in the simulation I I, I wanted to say so and it is interesting so. We pro I'm probably gonna stop the video very soon because I I will I, I want to make the next episode where we're gonna end the season and we already we are only two months away from the from the uh, from the end of, from the, the end of from the end of the season so I think I I'm, this is my last game that I'm simulating so we got another draw against Villarreal so that is very impressive because that team is very good and Lucero just ha he he grew by plus five in this season alone so that's a very impressive thing and Manuel is just getting better and better every single day. Moreno is still is growing as well, so I'm happy we're still in that 16 position, and uh, and uh, Kabaku will not be able to play in this game because he he has a red card, so that is not the that's not a problem because we have a, a replacement for him and uh, yes and we before we gonna end the video we also have one monthly scouting update so we, now we are gonna check the players and this guy is not good enough even though his potential is good is a very good is very good but but he's just not looking he's not he doesn't look good and this guy I will sign this guy because he is pretty good and um, his val his value was very good as well he's very high his value was very high Bernardo Lobo 55 rated but his potential is very good if he can grow a little bit f a little bit more in his potential I would keep him for sure this guy is very good this guy is, is also good is a good player Benton Negrao uh, I will keep him at least for now and uh, Danilo Oliveira, I will keep him only for uh, because his he, I will only keep him for uh, for his value because his value is very good. So he must be a good player because we might sell him for in the future for a few millions or we might get a, a, a better player in in the, in the future by just uh, swapping those players around. So I so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, just hit the like button on this video, subscribe to my channel, and also don't forget to hit everything down below because you will never miss. Uh, FIFA 18, the Levante Youth Academy career mode video, and I will see you guys in the next video very soon, so peace guys, and thank you guys for watching.